What's up, I'm Ga. We are in Seven Mortal Sins, trying to figure out what the heck User Joy was thinking when they gave us this update. Now, it's not particularly bad, it's not good, um, it's just weird, uh, and I'll get into it. Uh, but before that, um, it looks like User Joy is uh, doing two week uh, updates now, like once every two weeks. Uh, and we have figured out pretty much everything we're getting for the next two weeks. Um, wanted to show you guys the Discord post, uh, but you know the text is a little small for uh, reading, so I'll just kind of read it off to you guys. So right now we have uh, Red Riding Sandalfon. There's going to be a weekend banner with General Sandy, OG Metatron, and OG Michael. Uh, and then next week, we're getting a banner with uh, Waitress Raphael and Idol Michael reruns. Um, and then during that same week, we're also going to get a Blood Pact banner for Chino, uh, Thurza, uh, Uriel, and Phoenix Uriel. And then next week, weekend, we have a weekend banner then with Chino, Thurza, Uriel, and Phoenix Uriel. Uh, so that's pretty much... Uh, what you have to look forward to for the next two weeks. Uh, if you want to see it for yourself, go to the Discord, link in the description. It's in the pins on the uh, Questions Global chat. Uh, you can check it out, and if you scroll up from that message, you can see um, the pictures of the banners for everything that we're getting. Uh, so jumping into what we got today, it... Oh man, I don't know. Like, they seem to have lost uh, focus, like game plan. Like, I get the impression that they're throwing darts at a board, picking things out of a hat. Uh, I don't know, like, spinning a wheel. Maybe they have little monkeys under their desks pushing random buttons, you know, little RNG monkeys. I, I, I don't know. So, like... Again, if you guys go to the Discord, check the pins in the Questions Global, you will also find there a release schedule that Taiwan got, right? Based off of what they have, I mean, I'm looking at it right now. So, Red Riding Sandalfon is way out of order, right? So it's supposed to go Ayana, Zombie Astaroth, Belly Dancer Sariel, Alice Gabriel, and then Red Riding Sandalfon. Like, we are getting this character way in advance um, compared to what Taiwan got it in their release schedule. Um, and that's weird too because uh, if you guys paid any kind of attention um, even for like three seconds, like at the last stage for this event right here. Um, Horror 9, the story basically goes uh, the end, right? Like, um, what's her face? Uh, Cecilia right here uh, is basically like guiding these characters through a storybook. And she's like, all right, good job, guys, closing the book. And you're like, wait a minute. What about the first like part of the story? It's supposed to be a series, right? With like the the story tale or uh, whatever characters, right? So like it's I would imagine it, it starts with um, zombie Astaroth, even though it's more of like Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster kind of thing. Maybe it starts with Alice Gabrielle, Gabriel, Gabby. But it's like picking up a book going in like halfway and then starting to read from there it's like <laughs> we're jumping the timeline here guys let's go back to the original plan stop throwing darts at monkeys under your desk stop spinning wheels out of hats like what's the game plan here it doesn't feel like there is one um, and that is evidenced further um, when you look at some of the stuff you'll see in the game, right? So only one pack and it, it's back to the dookie dog water banana pants garbage um, 
that we had before Festival Uriel. Like, Festival Uriel's packs were fantastic. Like, that was amazing. And I praised them to no end on, on my last video for that. And we're back to, like, El Garbaggio here. Like, what happened? Was it too good? Did you have to... Did you have to take it away? I... User Joy, stop doing takesies backsies. Knock it off. I'm gonna spin this wheel real quick. Speaking of spinning wheels. All right, and dart. This is what we're getting. Good job, guys. We can go home. Um, yeah, I'll get into some more weird stuff later. Uh, we got login bonus. We got power up program. Very nice if you're looking to build this character. Event. Um, with achievements, let me let me put a put a pin in this. There are achievements here, and I think you have to clear it for a total of like 500 times or something. Just remember that number uh, a little bit later. Um, that and that's pretty much it, right? Um, Vortex is still here. You have another week if you haven't finished that yet. And what's weird is they're not giving us keys. For Vortex. Usually they give us keys in like the daily handouts, but we haven't got any keys. So to finish Vortex, it, you're pretty much gonna have to buy um, keys with gems. Like I, I bought the monthly ones because they're pretty cheap. That's only 200 gems um, for the total of 10. Uh, but if you want to finish Vortex this round, it's looking like you're gonna have to buy keys. Ride of Blood is gone, I am very disappointed. Bring it back, make it permanent. Stop taking it away. Enough with the takesies backsies. Um, and then for some reason, Shining Stars is still here. Normally these kind of events leave when a brand new event starts. But you know, whatever. Um, speaking of events, all right, I want to point something out here. This is very important for people who are doing this event and looking to get the achievements or the, you know, whatever those things are. Um, the endeavors, these things over here. Um, where are they? Right here. These, the achievements. If you're looking to get this, pay attention to what I'm about to say. Do Blood 1. Okay, this stage drops the standard amount uh, of event currency that we would normally get from, you know, stage five. So what they've done this time around is stage five now costs 120 stamina. You might think that's ridiculous, but you essentially get three clears worth of event materials from this. It's basically just condensing down uh, your stamina in so you can do less runs. Like, if you value your time and you don't want your phone on doing online autoplays for forever, um, then do Blood 5. You'll get pretty much the same amount of rewards, if slightly more, uh, than you would by spamming Blood 1. So, I tried this out earlier today. Um, let's see. One run of Blood 5 got me about... Uh, 1,020-ish uh, event currency, and then one run of Blood 1 got me like 330-ish, uh, somewhere around there, so essentially three runs of Blood 1 equal one run of Blood 5, more or less, depending on uh, RNG and some variables and stuff. It's going to be very, very slightly uh, less uh, with Blood 1, but the difference is minuscule, so uh, if you want the achievements, do Blood 1. If you want time, do Blood 5. Very simple. Uh, we have a wider than uh, usual selection of casts for the event. Uh, all the Sandalfons and uh, some other characters. It's, I mean, it's nice to have more bonus characters, so can't complain about that. Okay. Last but not least, I think here, uh, unless I am forgetting something, uh, in which case, if I am forgetting something, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what I forgot. Or 
even better. Let me know what you guys think of the current update. If you think it's as weird as I think it is. Uh, if you think the game's dying, which it is, but based off of U user joy's revenue and the revenue that some of their other games generate, I think they are complacent with running the game uh, with minimal profits. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Like, uh, they're not making a whole lot, but they have a bunch of titles that are making less that they're still running. So I can see this game uh, going on for a while, even though it will be poorly managed the entire time. It's not technically going to die, um, as in end of service probably anytime soon. So let's jump into the banner real quick. Uh, quick rate check, standard rates. Uh, two featured characters are Xanophon and Red Hood. Um, yeah, like I love her outfit. Like aesthetically, I love this. Um, something I've noticed with the newer characters is they seem to be more animated than some of the older ones like look look just look at her like a lot of other some of the older characters will just be kind of like grooving and chilling and like but then you got fez yuri who was like bouncing all over the place and then um you got uh sandalfon who's just like all right girl what them fingers do uh <laughs> well uh so, her kit. Her kit. Uh, she is a defensive character. Um, all of her stuff scales off of defense. She's immune to CC, she taunts, she buffs. Uh, she is a very good character from what I can read. Um, not necessarily meta-defining, um, but you know, being immune to CC uh, and having CC on top of that, as well as various levels of buffs uh, like speed, crit rate, um, just increasing overall damage, having zero cooldown on her ult. Uh, all of these factors combine to make a very strong character. Uh, very good. Like she is uh, someone who seems kind of like an all-rounder that you can just slap onto your team and call it good, almost like Belial. Um, maybe not the same power level as Belial because uh, Sandy here is missing things like consonants and super evolution, uh, so she's going to be lacking a little bit in stats when compared to a, a heavy tanker like Belial, um, but I think she is in that same vein uh, of character design, where she's just kind of an all-rounder uh, you can slap on to your team without worrying too much about her, she's going to hold her own, she's going to buff your team. Um, she, she definitely seems like a good character, but like I said, not, not meta-defining by any means. Definitely pick her up if you love her. Um, I'm tempted to because starting with General Sandalfon, I kind of fell in love with Sandy a little bit, but uh, I need to save my gems for anything and everything as Moodyus. That's my game plan, and I'm sticking to it. Whew. But yeah, so since UserJoy is on a two-week update schedule, uh, that means I'm on a two-week update schedule, so or upload schedule. Uh, uh, unless you know something makes me want to do a video, then expect a Seven Mortal Sins video once every two weeks. Um, which, before I leave, that's that's another thing that kind of got me. So before it felt like they were rushing super fast to try and catch up to Taiwan and Japan and everyone was getting mad like oh game's going too fast you gotta slow it down we can't keep up um and then just out of nowhere they slow it down a little too late but like what's the plan like are we trying to catch up to Taiwan are we not trying to catch up to Taiwan what's the game plan here guys what's going on like Give us some information, you know, follow a roadmap, something to make us think that you're not just picking straws out of a hat. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.